from CBS 17 News. Last night's operation took a major terrorist leader off the battlefield, and it sent a strong message to terrorists around the world. We will come after you and find you. Breaking news at noon, President Biden says a high-ranking ISIS leader blew himself up during a U.S.-led military raid in Syria. Good afternoon. I'm Liz Ortiz. Bill Young has the day off. The White House is calling the raid carried out by Special Operations Forces a success. Rescue workers in Syria say civilians, including women and children, were killed in this attack. CBS's Deborah Alfaron has the latest developments. Morning. President Biden says U.S. Special Forces have taken out ISIS leader Abu Ibrahim al Hashimi al Qurashi, also known as Haji Abdullah. Last night's operation took a major terrorist leader off the battlefield and it sent a strong message to terrorists around the world. We will come after you and find you. The raid took place in the Syrian town of Atmeh, not far from the Turkish border. The president watched the operation with members of the national security team. As our troops approached to capture the terrorist, in a final act of desperate cowardness, he, with no regard to the lives of his own family or others in the building, he chose to blow himself up, not just to the vest, but to blow up that third floor. Syria's White Helmet Rescue Group says it found the bodies of six children and four women inside the rubble. Knowing that this terrorist had chosen to surround himself with families, including children, we made a choice to pursue a special forces raid at a much greater risk than our, to our own people, rather than targeting him with an airstrike. This man says he witnessed the raid. He says, we went out and saw planes above us. Ten minutes later, we heard screams, surrender, the house is surrounded. The overnight attack on ISIS's leader comes amidst concerns that the terrorist organization was regrouping. We've removed uh, an ISIS commander, uh, and that's uh, very good news. Obviously, ISIS is a great threat to our interests, uh, not only in the Middle East, but around the world. ISIS attacked a prison camp on January 21st, holding about 3,000 of its former prisoners. It was the largest battle between the U.S. military and the group in three years. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, the White House. The Department of Justice had listed a $10 million reward for information leading to the ISIS leader.